All right, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through my solo wrestling workout from the neutral position. So I actually usually like to do seven minutes of jump rope to start my workout, but today I actually forgot my jump rope. So I'm just doing some high knees just to get warmed up before I get into my first exercise of the day. And this first, first exercise I'm actually gonna to do today are high crotches, five sets of 10. I usually like to do five sets of 10 on every exercise that I do uh, when I'm on the mat just to get a lot of reps in, because I think reps are the most important thing. So first thing I'm, I'm gonna do here is I'm looking to keep both my arms down in front of my legs. And the reason why is because some guys at the elite level have really explosive double legs. And if you keep one arm up, you're, like, like let's say you keep your trail leg arm up and your lead leg arm in front of your lead leg, some, some guys at the elite level can still blow through that easily. So um, I, I like to keep both arms down. And then once I touch my opponent's head with my head, that's when I'll bring my trail leg arm up and engage then. But I won't do that until I engage my opponent's head with my head. So as soon as I do that, essentially, I'm looking to get a collar tie with my right hand on my opponent. And I'm either looking to collar tie him first and then make him over tie me and then go underneath of it. Or if he has a collar tie me with his left hand, I can work my right hand in for my collar tie, which also puts him in an over tie situation. And then I can go underneath that arm by basically flaring my elbow out and then changing levels and going underneath of it to a lefty high crotch. So I'm actually left leg lead. I actually changed my lead leg uh, not too long ago, probably a couple months ago. And it's it's kind of felt weird a little bit. I'm not used to it, but I've been, I've been getting a lot better at it over the past couple months. I found that the left leg is a lot more effective if you're left leg lead, because most guys are right leg lead. So guys have trouble defending the left leg. Um, if you're a left leg lead, you have a huge advantage. The next exercise we're going to be doing here is uh, single leg. So I'm hitting my, my lefty single now. I'm doing the same setup that I did for the high crotch, except now I'm doing it to a single leg. I'm basically taking the same side collar on the side that I'm attacking. So same side collar tie, le left hand collar tie. And I'm looking to put my opponent in an over tie situation with his right hand. So let's pretend the opponent has a right hand collar tie on me. I can either work my left hand in and put him in an over tie situation and go underneath that arm. Or I can collar tie him first and then he can come and over tie me, which also puts him in an over tie situation. And I can just basically flare my elbow out and then elevate his arm up with my elbow and then go underneath of it by level change and, and get into the leg, taking an angle knee drop step to my single leg. I think the single leg and the high crotch are the two most effective takedowns uh, from the neutral position. They're really high percentage, especially uh, if you're a left leg lead. So I've been working on these shots every single day, and I believe that if I master these shots, I can take down at anybody in the country, essentially, because I've seen a lot of elite level guys do this exact same stuff. It's just all about getting reps in. So same thing here. I'm keeping both leg, both hands down in front of my legs until I touch my opponent's head with my head. Then I'm bringing my arms up and then engaging. Trail leg hand first and then lead leg hand. I never want to want to bring my lead leg hand up first because the elite level guys or just anybody in general can just post your arm up and just grab your leg if you reach with your lead leg hand. So always engage with your trail leg hand first. On this exercise, I'm, I'm actually starting to work some defensive stuff now. So this move right here, um, this little uh, defensive tactic, we kind of call it the, the head is kind of like the coaching cue in the practice room. So when I yell head, all the all the kids or whoever, whoever I'm coaching will do this. And essentially what this is doing is it's stopping the opponent's double leg. So if a guy shoots like a blast double on you or a double leg from space, I'm essentially dropping my head, which is the only time in wrestling where you want to drop your head. Because the reason why you drop your head is because if you keep your head up, guys will just blow through your head, blow, blow right through your face. So you want to engage him with the back of your head as you circle away, the back of your neck. And I keep both hands down because, like I said before, I can't keep one hand up, one hand down because guys will blow through that. I'm circling away from my lead leg. Next up, we're getting into some down block stuff. So I'm only going to down block in my lead leg because guys will usually never shoot on your trail leg. If, if the guys see that, that that leg's far away, they usually won't shoot on it. They'll, they'll always shoot on your lead leg. So I'm really, really only, only down blocking to my lead leg. But the keys on the down block are I need to – I need to drop my same side hand with my same side leg. So whatever leg I'm down blocking with, that hand needs to drop. Next up, we're getting into some sprawls. 
So keys on the sprawl are I need to keep my chest up and my head up and circle away. Chest up, head up, and circle away from the lead leg. So I'm circling away from the left leg, which is my lead leg. You pretty much always want to circle away from your lead leg, whether that's whether you're down blocking, uh, sprawling, or doing that that head maneuver that I, that I talked about earlier. You're always circling away from your lead leg. You can also do reshots off of these, which I'll show you guys here in a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, you're always circling away from your lead leg. Always keeping your arms in front until you're ready to engage, until you touch your head, your opponent's head with your head. So again, I'm going back to my head here, but now I'm adding in the reshot to a high crotch. So arms down, arms down. I go head and then reshot to my high crotch double. The other thing too, as soon as I get in on my high crotch, I always like to take a, a couple steps as if, I'm, as if I'm finishing off to a double, just to kind of get the uh, muscle memory of how that works because that's what I'm going to be doing in a live match, ideally in a hundred in like the best situation. Um, I'm going to be going high crotch to a double. So I want to get the feel for that. I want to take maybe two or three steps, even if it's on air, two or three steps on air just to pretend that I'm doubling the guy off. So I'm circling away, high crotch, double. Dropping my head, circling away, high crotch, double. It's really, really solid maneuver, and this is this is how you can defend yourself against the elite level guys, especially the guys that like to shoot from space. Which there, there are there are a lot of guys that like to shoot from space once you get to the higher levels. Next up, we're gonna begin with some down block into a reshot. So again, keeping my lead leg in front, trail leg is behind. I'm down blocking, same side hand, same side foot. So my left foot is down blocking, my left hand drops, touches the mat, and I'm going for my reshot to my high crotch. So down block, high crotch double with my left with my left leg lead. Down block, high crotch double. Both hands down. I'm down blocking with my left hand. Left leg is going back so my opponent can't can't grab it. And I'm taking that reshot to a high crotch double. It's important in a real when you get in the live matches to know how to know how to do reattacks. You don't just want to be on the defense the whole time. You want to be able to have counterattacks. If you're just on the defense the whole time, you're gonna get hit, hit for stalling and probably end up losing the match or giving up points or whatever. But you want to, you always want to have a counterattack. You don't just want to be on the defensive. There's also not, not a lot of openings a lot of time to score it once you get the, to the elite level. So that time to score is off the opponent's shot. Again, here, more, more defense stuff to a counterattack. We're doing sprawls now. So I'm going sprawl. I'm circling away from my lead leg. I'm circling back up to my feet and going reshot. It's important that on my sprawls, I don't just circle, I don't just stand straight up and walk back into the guy because he just grabbed my leg again. So as soon as I sprawl, I want to circle away from my lead leg. And then shoot. I don't just sprawl and stand up and then shoot forward. I need to get. I need to circle first, kind of get an angle. So I'm sprawling. I'm, I'm keeping my chest up and head up on my sprawls. The reason why you keep your chest up and your head up on your sprawls is because it puts more weight uh, through your hips on your opponent. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching this voiceover. This is uh, really solid stuff. Um, I'm excited to be able to get, show you guys more more of the high-level things that I've learned at the college level and just in general over the course of my career. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Th thanks for tuning in.